and welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Instantly go to scratch my head or mess with my hair. <laughs> I've just noticed one of the kittens running up the curtain. They're so cheeky. Oh my god, like a monkey. Like a monkey. Oh, get this around here. Kitten. Oh, that's a new trick now, isn't it? <laughs> so I brought them into my bedroom last night. Um, but that camera's not at a great angle. Hold on, I'm like turning around again. Uh, so I decided that I would bring the kittens in and I would do the editing of yesterday's vlog. So... Yeah, I did that and um, it uploaded fairly fast last night, which was great. I don't know. It's really weird. I do my um, I do my editing on my MacBook and I know I've heard Rachel talking about this and um, that she doesn't have great storage. I have really bad storage on mine, so I'm interested to see how she gets on with her external hard drive. <laughs> that really makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? And I am um, just looking at the order here to make sure I'm cutting the right amount. Um, yeah, I have to keep uploading vlogs and then the following day when I upload the new one, I have to delete yesterday's one off the uh, MacBook storage and then I can upload the next one. It's, it's a shock and pain, but anyway, it's kind of what I do. Um, and uh, yeah, I brought the kittens in and they went mental around the room. Absolutely mental. I have a freestanding mirror in the bedroom. I haven't actually shown you the navy colour in the bedroom yet. <laughs> uh, they went, yeah, racing around the bedroom and ended up like bouncing off the mirror a couple of times. So I got really worried about that. Got out of bed, put that out into the hall because I thought I got to end up with a concussed kitten and a broken mirror. And I mean, that's all we want, isn't it? So yeah, finished my editing and then brought the kittens back down here into their room <laughs> and uh, I went off to sleep. It was a bit strange last night actually being in the house on my own. I haven't been in the house. Kitten up the curtain again. I haven't actually been in the house on my own for a while so it did feel a little bit strange and yeah I'm up this morning. I'm used to the habit now of knowing what time Karis starts her first lecture and I usually bring her in like a cup of tea about half an hour beforehand and then that kind of gets her into the land of the living ready for the day. <laughs> so um, yeah today is cutting some orders and I am meeting my friend Tess later on for a walk in the forest park. This is where I usually bring the dogs so I get another little bit of filming around the forest park. <laughs> You've probably seen every side of the forest park at this stage. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. These things are the best things. I use these so often, these lint rollers. Um, just for any of like the black fabrics. They do just pick up fluff of other fabrics. So, a little roll. Yeah, so we'll have a lovely walk today and we'll talk about sewing. It's great. <laughs> She's my only, my one and only friend in the world that I meet in uh, reality, as in, in real life. Um, and we can just, yeah, we, we walk for usually about an hour. Oh, it's, not a, it's not a really fast walk. It's a nice slow paced walk. And um, usually I bring one of the dogs. So we'll see today. We'll see if I'll bring one today. I think it's going to be very muddy yet and I don't really have things to put into the boot of the car to keep the car from the mud so yeah I'll see. I need to get something really for the boot of the car just to keep it from getting destroyed from muddy dogs because with all the rain and with all the everything for the last while I know the forest park is going to be like a marsh, like a marsh today. So yeah, we'll have a we'll have a walk in the park, and 
we will have a talk about sewing for an hour which is great it's just great it's like a little do you know what it's like a little therapy hour it's brilliant so yeah i'm looking forward to that now later on today so today is getting all my dpds out you saw yesterday i got all my post out a few little bits for the post today but nothing nothing huge i can drop them into the um post office and yeah that's about that's all my plans for the day i am thinking though that i'd love to make some sort of a jacket for when i do go for walks i have a few like ones that i bought say in outdoor shops or more more tk max than anywhere and yeah they're okay but they're not everything that i want like the sleeves are too long on them i haven't got around to shortening them i've had one in my sewing room for ages and I just haven't got around to shortening it and it won't take that long to do it, but yeah, it takes me ages. Um, <clears throat> so I'm wondering about like an outdoors jacket. This is the stretch satin and I always tear it because it's much easier. Oh, I made a purchase last night actually. I made a purchase of two A0 sized cutting mats. And I've wanted, I've wanted to buy them for ages. And when I came home last night, um, yeah, after I did the editing, I, I couldn't fully sleep. So I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll have a look because I've, I've known where I wanted to buy them. And they're actually very reasonably priced. Um, I will put, if I remember, I'll put a link into the description box of this video to show you where I bought them. And I was about to buy them from this place because they do pink ones. So I have two A0 pink cutting mats ordered and I'm very excited. So as you know, I am the scissors. <laughs> I'm a scissors fan. I've never really been into the rotary cutters, but, and I never thought I would, um, but I've started using my rotary cutter now since I've had trouble with my arm and my shoulder and that. And I'm just finding it easier. I'm just, it, I'm not able to like twist my arm around for the scissors. I find it really difficult. Um, but I am finding, I'm getting the knack with the rotary cutter, I think. So I was mad to get some cutting mats. And I know recently when I've been laying out my fabric on the floor, that's how I do my cutting out. I've been thinking, oh, I'd actually really love to get out my rotary cutter now and use it. So I bought my two cutting mats and I think as well as that, I made those little changes to my um, to my sewing room last week, hanging up my shelves and just making a little bit of extra room on the floor and a remnant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I did remnants last night, last week and they just flew out the door. There's very few left. So, yeah, that's great. I know there's loads of people who are just big fans of remnants. So, yeah, I made a bit of extra room on like the floor of my sewing room and now I definitely have room to put out my two cutting mats. Okay so talking while cutting orders didn't work. <laughs> I was just terrified in case I was going to make a mistake. So I'm wrapping orders now so yeah that should be okay. I got my new I got my new postcards yesterday. Only yesterday so I have a little I'm so unfit. I put in the thank you card with all the orders and normally I have a picture of fabric on the front and then I write on the back but I thought I would kind of make it a little bit different. So these were supposed to be here at the beginning of December and it's now the 14th so they arrived yesterday. Um, so yeah I ran out of postcards last week and that really annoys me when that happens but yeah they arrived yesterday so if you don't get one in December you're definitely going to get them into January. <laughs> So it's a welcome to Vlogmas, Vlogmas, take three. <laughs> so while I was doing my wrapping, the noise of the sellotape was really annoying me. And also I got a call, my phone started ringing. So I'm, I'm, I video these vlogs on my phone. And um, <laughs> it was the company that I'm after buying the two cutting mats off that I'm really excited about to tell me that they only had one pink one. And he started laughing when I went, oh, Oh no. And he goes, yeah, but we've other colours. We've got like green and grey. And I thought, 
It's not beyond the grey door. It's not beyond the green door. It's beyond the pink door. So I said to him, oh, okay, when are you going to get more pink ones in? And he said, well, well into January. So I thought, oh, God. So I've ordered, um, I've given in and said, okay, I'll take a grey one. So I have a pink one and a grey one. <laughs> I feel slightly deflated. But anyway, look at it. Yeah, so they are going to be dispatched today. So that's kind of cool. I've got all my um I've got all my my cutting, wrapping and packing done. So I just thought I will sit here and do it. Um because I can't multitask. <laughs> I've decided. I, I can't I don't trust myself cutting and talking at the same time because my brain can't go in two different directions anymore. It used to. I used to be a great multitasker, but yeah, not anymore. So I just thought I would show you. We are using these um paper bags. Now I have them in three different sizes. And we're also using a couple of plastic bags. Now, I hate the plastic bags, to be perfectly honest, but needs must. These were just a bit too heavy for the paper bags. I think they'd be okay, but I just wouldn't trust them because this time of the year, the couriers are under so much pressure that, you know, they're not handling them like babies like I do. They are horsing them into the van and into the van and then into this and into that. So, yeah, I want them to get to their destination pretty much in one piece. So I have a few plastic bags today. I do need to try and source like another big paper bag for heavier like coating and stuff. That one there has a big piece of coating in it. The kittens are having a fight now. I can hear them. Oh, they're terrible. They're so funny. Let's see. Oh God, my feet have gone to sleep. <laughs> Can't even see them. Oh, they're under the table in a box playing. So play fighting. Oh, my my feet are almost fully asleep. <laughs> so, yes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually so disjointed now. Two videos I've done that I don't know what I've told you and what I haven't told you. So I'm going for a walk today. I've told you that. I put my cutting mats. I've told you that. <laughs> I am going to go to the hardware shop while I'm in town today and I'm going to bring my wallpaper sample and I'm going to try and get some sample paints for the wallpaper for the front room. Now still, I've no notion of painting this in the next couple of weeks, but I still, I'm on a bit of a mission and I may as well, you know, buy the stuff and have it ready. So I'm going to see, can I get like a navy samples and a nice pink sample for the kitchen? I also have to get white paint for in here because I still haven't got that bit up there done. Now, goodness knows how I'm going to do that, but anyway. And then I still have this wall to do and I'd really like to get that done, um, especially now in the next couple of weeks when it's a bit quieter, even though I've just said I'm not going to paint in the next few weeks, but I may tackle that. We'll see. And I, Well, I've changed my clothes because I was roasting. DPD have gone so I am absolutely thrilled to bits and I have just rearranged the hall so that I have room for a Christmas tree and actually this is great because I've been trying to get my fabric from the hall in here for like forever so I've had a big shelf of cotton viscose bamboo jerseys I'll show you I've just brought them all in it's really sunny really sunny I'm not complaining um so this shelf here was out in the hall and there's a curved wall in the hall which sounds really fancy but it took up so much room so <laughs> the printer was there so I'm after moving the printer out into the hall I'm exhausted <laughs> and I've moved that in there rearranged all of those which is great because I have them all now in color order and type of fabric order I've put all the bootlegs there to side I'm also noticing that I have room there for another shelf there I still have to paint that wall and you know as I moved the shelf in today I thought would it be better off to get painting the wall and then moving the shelf and I thought mm, no <laughs> nope so it's there and when the wall has to be painted everything will move out this shelf here is actually on um casters I got casters for it when I bought it so I'm a bit sorry I don't have casters on that but that'll be that'll be put on the um on one of the plans so yeah, I've had a heck of a lot of fabric. Huh. And then I have moved the printer out here. So I have this couch thing, 
which I hate. I have to say, I don't hate it itself. I just hate it because it takes up too much room. And usually I have it here between the two windows, but I still, I don't like it. I'm actually very tempted to take a photograph of it and stick it on like Facebook Marketplace or something. I did that last year with a few bits and they sold really fast. Excuse the hair, I have it up out of the way because I'm so roasting. So I have that there. I feel, hopefully it's a temporary measure. Hopefully somebody with a car and trailer will come in the next few days and take it away. And that is actually the door to Karis's bedroom. So Karis has like an obstacle course every time she goes into her bedroom. And I've moved the printer there and actually I've moved so much room in the hall. So, I mean, this might be absolutely nuts now, but I've put down the piece of carpet that I always put the tree on. I've brought in the stand and I now have to haul in the tree. And I'm kind of hoping that if I bring in the tree, so it's along here, if I put it in and tighten up those screws, I should be able to like lift it up. I don't know. And then I'm looking at that thinking, oh, wouldn't a tree skirt be nice? But no, Andrea, don't get carried away. So I am going to set up the camera <laughs> and film the possible comedy show of me dragging in the tree. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It could be fun. It could be an absolute disaster. And if it's a disaster and I end up under a tree, at least, you know, there's evidence and somebody can call for help. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. I think I'll try a time lapse because it's a bit faster. the time lapse it looked very easy in the time lapse it's up now so all i have to do now is like it's quite tall and so all i have to do now is take that bag off it i'm kind of standing here thinking <laughs> when's it gonna fall over i think it's quite steady it seems very steady it does feel like it looks a little bit bald up there but anyway yeah um, if you take the bag off, what do you do? Do you take the bag like off the top first, off the bottom? I think I might, I might pull it over to the stairs and cut the bag thing at the top. Are you all screaming at me now? Oh no, don't do it that way, cut it from the bottom. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna get a scissors. And I'm going to see what will I do. I'm going to give it a little shake test as well, just to make sure <laughs> that it's not like going to fall over. I think I'll move it here. So if I move it over to the stairs there, at least you'll see me going up the stairs. Oh God, fingers crossed. Well, I've got scissors and again, no screaming. This is not a cutting out scissors. This used to be a cutting out scissors and how we know we can use this for like paper or Christmas tree bags is that it's got a bit of orange fabric hanging off it. So, hmm. I'm gonna give it a shake.
still standing. I have to say, the ironing was a great sense of accomplishment a few days ago, but <laughs> I've just put up a Christmas tree about three times the height of myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm home from my walk and the tree is still up. Now, I had to pop into Aldi. So, I got another tree skirt because I really like the look of the one on the artificial tree. Now, I know the tree is up and I should put this on beforehand and I haven't a notion of taking the tree down. So, I did see on somebody's Instagram story one day that they cut it and then spread it out. So, this is either going to be brilliant or it's going to go horribly wrong. But I'm kind of feeling a bit cocky because I've got a tree up today <laughs> that this might work. So I've gone out to the shed and I've got my lopper because I think that might work. So I'm going to give this a go. I kind of, I'm kind of going to look to see if there's like a beginning or an end to this. Do you know, like a, like, I don't know how these are made, but I thought there would have been kind of like a finished end. I don't know. I'm going to go for it. So they're either going to spring in my face and I'm going to be putting it into the wheelie bin or it'll work. I don't know. Anyway, here it goes. So it's open. Okay, and it's not a complete disaster. Just a few casualties. And <laughs> this is the bit that could go horribly wrong. But this is where I need somebody else to help. I love these tree skirts. So if you want to get one at Aldi and you've got the tree up already, that's how you do it. <laughs> so I came home to some post as well. I have a post box um, up outside the gate, so I don't empty the post box every day. Uh, it's not every day I want to see bills. Uh, so I opened the post box and of course it's the time of the year where you get cards in the post, so it's brilliant. So I got this gorgeous card. <laughs> really like that piece on earth so cute thank you and look at that oh isn't that little puppy so divine my brother actually has two of these guys they are I think they're about three now and they're just adorable I love them 
And then look at this lovely one with a cat and the dogs and the fire and oh my god I'd love that chair with the plaid that's really nice actually I was thinking I have to make cushion covers for my front room and I think I'm going to make some tartan ones because I think they would be nice I badly need to make some mine are really horrible and then I got this gorgeous one as well isn't that really lovely I think that's really nice it is a Christmas card sending people a lifeline from Oxfam and that came with a little gift and I think I'm gonna I'm going to keep it until Christmas Day because it is a little Christmas present so I think that would be nice to wait until Christmas Day mm. and then my friend Tess had presents for me as well so it's yeah it's such a I'm so lucky. <laughs> so thank you to all of you who sent me the lovely cards. That's so nice. I don't usually get many cards. It's really nice. And it's probably because I don't send. I don't send cards. So then I miss getting cards. So it's going to be lovely now. I'm going to put these out in the hall. And that will extend the Christmas a little bit into the hall. I've loads more decorations to put up. I am very proud of my achievement today in getting that tree up. I've had a lovely day. I've had a lovely day catching up with uh, my friend Tess. I didn't actually film any of our walk. We were too busy chatting. Um, but we did see some lovely ducks. Now, there's gorgeous ducks in around where we parked the car. So I'll put in a little clip of the ducks. And um, I'm still in my walking jacket. So this is one of the jackets I have. And I, I like this a lot. It's got like a slightly fleecy on the inside. Um, yeah, I do like this one a lot. I don't know what it was I didn't like about this one. I think possibly when I have, um, I've only got a t-shirt on underneath it and that's because it is quite a warm jacket. But if I have anything else with a sleeve on it, I can't get my arm out of the sleeve. So that's probably why I don't reach for this one that much. But it was a very mild day today, so I didn't feel the need for anything too heavy. So anyway, I have a lot of editing to do with this vlog so I'm going to go up to my sewing room now and I am going to start editing the vlog and I think I might tackle the buttonholes on that blouse that I'm talking about for the last few days yeah so thanks so much for watching my day and I'll catch up with you again tomorrow bye for now